Welcome back. Next week marks the final week of the regular season for most leagues around the region, but the rivalry games in this area are still abound. We're going to start tonight in Idaho with Coeur d'Alene taking on Lake City. Last time these two teams played, our photographer said it was the loudest high school game he'd ever been to. First quarter, Coeur d'Alene's Mason Whitaker knocks down a three. The Vikings open up with three straight threes. Timberwolves settle in a bit later. Uh, this is Seth Hansen with naturally another three. Lake City down nine to six with 231 to go in the quarter to the second. Nice pass inside from Connor King to Carter Freeze. Vikings up 19 to 13 with 449 to go in the half. CDA pulls away later in the half. Drew Hostetter drives in to make it 26 to 15 with 138 to go. Lake City would try to come back, but it just wouldn't be enough. Vikings win 55 51. The Lake City girls have been the class of the Inland Empire League this season. Third quarter. The steal by Lake City's Deja Wilson sets up Claire Mitchell. She gets fouled as she scores. The Wolves are up 26-21 with 3.21 to go in the quarter. CDA comes back late in the third. Kelly Horning will get her own rebound, and then she's going to score. Puts the Vikings up 31-30 at the end of three. After a miss, there's another board by Horning. Let me see it just a second. And a score. Vikings keep it close, but Lake City will pull away later in the game. Mitchell this time with the steal herself. She'll take it home and the Wolves led the rest of the way. They'll win 43 to 37. Now to the Golden Throne game. Lewiston at Clarkston this evening. Clarkston coming in winners of the last eight games and six straight years beating Lewiston early on. Clarkston got the early lead. Gus Hagestead hits the three ball. Bantams up 3-2. Then True Allen would take over. This is amazing. He hits here from long. Five parks in the lead now. Then the next time on the drive, CHS up 10 to 5. He's really getting it done from all over the court tonight. Next up, a long jumper from him. It's 12 8 Clarkston. Allen dropped 29 this evening. He had 29 in overtime last night also. Clarkston wins this one 60 to 55. To the ladies' edition, Lewiston girls looking to win six straight, but Clarkston looking to kill that noise. Lewiston would jump out to a lead. This game in the first half was a back and forth battle. Clarkston first lead would come here. Ashlyn Wallace for three. Clarkston leads 22-20 late in the second half, but then Lewiston's Kendall Kinsner would respond to tie the game at 22. The Fresno State commit ended with 26. Bantams would go into the second half leading by four and then they turn it on from three. Wallace had a game high 27 points. In the end, the Bantams snapped the six year Golden Throne losing streak being Lewis Lewiston 71-50. Clarkson also wins the Golden Throne for the first time since 2014. Now we head back to Spokane where West Valley and East Valley faced off. The Knights start off hot from three. Not sure if Nick Wall Whalen, Wallen I don't know who, okay, if Nick Wallen hits the first three there. Jordan Pennington, he's going to hit the second. I'm not sure that those two are related, but I thought they were twins when I was originally cutting the highlight. Cody Dellinger there with the and one. Eventually, the Eagles take over and win 67-47. It was also senior night out at East Valley. West Valley trying to climb back into this game in the third. Three after three for them. At one point, they'd have the... Knights lead down to just six, but in the fourth, East Valley starts sharing the ball. Nice little passing sequence here, and same here with Mattia Green cashing in on the other end. Green with the exclamation point. What a denial there. She even gets the ball back. East Valley defeats West Valley 71 to 50. We're going to take a break from the highlights to go inside the huddle tonight. Let's see what the coaches we covered this evening had to impart onto their squads. Come out, get out of the way, pick and roll. 
just like yesterday, this is a good lineup to do this, fly around, okay? This is why we almost call them monkey, because we're just flying around, make stuff happen, they'll turn the ball over. Prevent it, they don't even get to take it. Prevent the three, you got it? All right, on all this, just be patient, let's see what they're in. All right, now to some GSL action. Mount Spokane making the drive to university tonight. Mount Spokane boys only have one loss in conference play. That's to G Prep. Jerry Twinge went off during the first quarter. He poured in seven points in the first and 22 overall. Meanwhile, this next play we show you is going to kind of sum this night up for university. Kyle Douglas with a nice layup in the lane, but Look behind him on the break because Spencer Berea is just going to sneak right behind and score in transition. The Wildcats have no issues winning 74 to 48. The Mount Spokane ladies also came in tonight with only one loss in the GSL. There's the Central Valley into the third in the last minute and a half of that quarter in the first 30 seconds of the fourth. University goes on a huge run. Cuts Mount Spokane's lead to just three, but speaking of three, then the Wildcats would turn it on from beyond the arc. The majority of their field goals in the fourth were trays. We heard university's coach say we need to stop them from Trey. It didn't end up happening. Wildcats win 64-49. We mentioned Central Valley at the top of the Mount Spokane highlight. Here they are against North Central. Cameron Scaife to Tamika, Tamikia Whitman. Tim J. Bruno, quick moves there for the layup. And now the Bears are from the three-point line. Anika Chalik with the long one. Next up at North Central takes their shot. Dakota Chastain trying to roll up out to Paris Plummer for the three. Not enough for the Indians to take it. Central Valley wins 72 to 44. We end tonight with Lewis and Clark and Shadle Park Girls Basketball. Shadle. Oh man, it wasn't a good night for them. Second quarter, they were down 34 to five and not much changed. Here we have Ar Ariana Reeves putting it straight up and heading out like it was nothing. Next up, there goes Andy Zilek out to Hannah Peters for three. Finally, Ella Damon takes her turn. She shoots her shot quite literally. And there you have it, just like that. It was all Tigers tonight. Shadle falls 84 to 15. That's it for sports, we'll be right back.